Okay, solving logarithmic equations. There's two ways to solve these. Um, well, there's like two different forms that they might be in. The first one is the one-to-one -one property. So that's saying that if we have log base b of m and it equals log base b of n, so these are the same. This has to be the same, like the log base b and the log base b. That b has to be the same. Well, if that happens, then that means that m equals n. So you can just kind of cancel out those logs and just set whatever's inside equal to each other. Okay, and then check for extraneous solutions. You cannot, write this on your paper, cannot have a negative in a logarithm. Negative in a logarithm. Okay. <clears throat> so let's look at this. So if we have log base 5 of 5x plus 9 equals log base 5 of 6x, well, those can just cancel out. And we have 5x plus 9 equals 6x which means that x equals 9. So just subtract that 5x over. Then we can go back and check this by plug it in. So again, you can't have negatives in your logarithms. So we have 5 times 9 plus 9 equals 54, and 6 times 9 also equals 54. Those are both positive, and they equal each other, so we're good. And then we're done. Okay? This one, so first we have to condense this. Remember, addition goes with multiplication. So that's going to be log 4 of y plus 4 equals 72. And you could distribute that in if you wanted to. So it would be 4y plus 16, which is what I just did right there. Now I can cancel out those logs. So I have 4y plus 16 equals 72. So 4y equals 56, which means y equals 14. Plug it in to check. That equals 18, which is a positive, so we're good. Okay? This one, so first let's condense this. So we have that one half. Well, let's raise it. Remember, that's the power rule. This just becomes a power right there. So log base 6 of 25 to the one half power. If you raise something to the one half power, it's the same as square rooting it. And the square root of 25 is 5. So log base 6 of 5 equals log base 6 of 23 minus 4w. Cancel those. So you have 5 equals 23 minus 4w. Subtract that 23, you get negative 18 equals negative 4w. So w equals 18 over 4, which is 9 halves. Plug it in. Just make sure we don't get a negative out of there. We don't, so we're good. Okay? So that's the way if you have like a log equals a log. <clears throat> now, if we don't have a log equals a log, we have a log equals a number or a variable or some term, that's when we're going to change it to exponential form. So if we have log base 2 of x minus 4 equals 6, there's nothing we can really do except for change forms. So let's change forms. That's the same thing as 2 to the 6th power equals x minus 4. 2 to the 6th power, 64, equals x minus 4. So x equals 68. Still check it. Make sure you get a positive. We do, so we're good. This one, so we want to get that log by itself first, so we're going to add the 7 over, and we get log base 3 of 4x plus 8 equals 4. Change it, so 3 to the 4th power equals 4x plus 8. That's 81 equals 4x plus 8. 73 equals 4x, so x equals 73 over 4. Check for solutions. We're good. Okay. This one, so we have to condense those on the left side first. So that's going to be log 2x times x minus 5 equals 2, which is log of 2x squared minus 10x equals 2. And we need to change forms, but there's not a base here. So remember, if you just have a log, if it just says log with no base, it's assumed that the base is 10. So that's the same thing as log base 10 of 2x squared minus 10x equals 2 change it to exponential form, and that's going to be 10 squared equals 2x squared minus 10x. So that's 100 equals 2x squared minus 10x. Now, if we have an x squared, we have an x, and we have some number, we need to set this equal to 0, so subtract that 100 over, and then solve it by factoring. They all have this 2 in common, so I'm just going to divide that 2 out, and you get 0 equals x squared minus 5x minus 50. 
factor that, it factors to x minus 10 and x plus 5. So x minus 10 equals 0, x plus 5 equals 0, which means x equals 10 and x equals negative 5. And I can already tell you the negative 5 is not going to work because if you plug that back in, you get a negative number out. So if we plug that, if we plug in 10, we're fine. If we plug in negative 5, 5 we're not fine. So 10 is our only solution there. Okay, uh, remember to take the quiz. Yep, see you tomorrow or see you whenever I see you.